Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on this nitrous system. So actually we only were go going to work on the particle effect, not the whole system. So when I press shift, I get this nitrous effect. Later on we will work on how to implement the actual speed boost. Today we will focus on the nitrous effect and how to activate it upon key press right in this car model i think this one and this one here these openings are the exhausts so i'm gonna add a niagara particle to here something like a bluish flame to show the nitrous so I'm only going to work on the particle system here later on we will figure out how to do the actual boosting part okay so fx let me create a Niagara system from selected emitters I'll choose this just this founder n s n two o oh wait no mos that's uh, that's a usual name okay now here is the particle we got so I don't want to have this shape. What's this? No system movie. Right. So this is the material but I will use this default ribbon material because I don't need a rounded shape I need like a box type of a shape and I will set this direction I don't need a gravity I will set the direction of the velocity not in core linear or next direction so it should be faster and maybe have some drag this is too fast oh is a direction speed we don't need we only need in x direction one now currently 10 is not enough this is also not enough this seems fine so i'll orient this to the velocity Uh, let me pause this. Where is the timeline? Okay, I got the timeline. Let me pause it. So, this fade in. I don't think this is the way I need it. Because at this, as it goes to the, reach the end, it should become more transparent. Not in this way so maybe we need a different material i don't have a materials folder so i'll create one here m n noise and i'll change this to translucent uh not translucent additive 
and promote base color to a vector parameter. Oh wait. No, we can access part of the color. Yeah. And I'll directly put that alpha to the opacity. MCU color here. Okay. And I'll use this material. Okay, now we got shapes like boxes. So that's fine. I'll set the sprite size mode uniform, no, non uniform x is let's say one and y let's keep 10 and increase the spawn rate to like 500 doesn't seem enough maybe we should make it a bit bigger Oh, that seems fine now with the lifetime this should fade away so scale alpha well that actually happens here yeah I think lifetime is too high so, 24 to 26. Right. Let me add this to the car and so that I can get an idea about the scale. <clears throat> Do we have a socket? It's better to have a socket to attach. Where's the mesh? Oh, here. Let's see. Let me show all the bones. Right. Damper VR. Okay, we can we are right. Maybe we should attach it under the root. Add a socket. I'll call it NOS. R stands for right. Let me go to left view and move it to the location I need. Oh, this is the front. Let me go to the back and now SR should be here. Let me set it in the middle. Should be fine. Let me switch here, switch to the skeleton view so I can see this relative location let me copy that can i duplicate this
control C no. Let me add another socket. Call it NOS and paste the value. So it's in the left, it's in the right. So oh no. If I make these minus, it should go to the left. Yeah, like this. Okay. Now We can add the Niagara system. And to the car. Where is it? And the snows. Yeah. It's. I'll attach it to. And the snows are. Okay. The socket has to be rotated. 180 degrees so oh both not just this one right oh it's too big mm, let me duplicate this nos l nos r so nos nos l should be attached to no cell socket okay as you can see it's definitely too big yeah it's too big so let's go here and reduce further reduce lifespan This looks, I don't think I like the way it looks. What if I use this smoke material? Yeah, but this one is translucent. Yeah, it's translucent. So, M smoke additive. I'll make it, make a duplicate and set it to additive. Apply. Okay. Let me try that one. Right. I see the array is surface mark because I didn't set the sub. UVs so this one has one two three eight this is a eight by eight array of a smoke so I had a set sub UV eight by eight yeah, now I see one smoke and it's the same so maybe we need sub UV index animation uh and what are these all names? Oh it's private friend. Okay. That should work. Or oh, if I put it here and not random linear based on the normalization, that also should work. Mm -hmm. Not quite right. Maybe we need to make it dense. Oh, 
that's it. Okay, now let's add the colors. So for colors, I change this uh, spread size 710. Uh, so yeah, for colors, let me add color node and change this to a uh, wait. Does this work? Yeah, it's working. Change this to a uh, curve. color from curve I'll make this blue A bright blue and then another blue a bit darker but not so miss you right and this one should be again blue is this enough Okay, I think that's enough. All right, now let's see how it looks in the runtime. Uh, but as I said, I only want to work on the effect. So this too, I'll set not to auto activate, and then just for testing, let's have. Let me quickly add an input. Just an action. Yeah, it, this is still used in the legacy input system. Now, shift. Now, here, mouse. So when I press that, I'll set active, no, let's activate both, no need to reset I think, and when I release it, I'll not activate, I'll deactivate it. Right now, here let's see. Yeah, okay, so that's our system. At the moment, no change in speed, just the particle. And thanks for watching. Next time, we will work on the actual particle effect. So, see you in another episode. Goodbye. And as always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page.